Hi, good afternoon. Here I am ready to do another Stitch Fix video for you today. This is the late March uh, Stitch Fix. I have one in early March as well, but I get them between three and four weeks. So this one was just a super quick turnaround. I'll go ahead and just briefly um, go into my freestyle preview, which was very disappointing. Um, so you'll hear a little bit more about that right now. Here we have um, my new fix preview. And I'm not really excited because um, I had very specifically asked for uh, five items for $60 or less, which they actually did in this preview. Um, so they did listen to me properly, which means that the computer knows what I was saying. But I wanted some, I don't know, I think I had wanted something different than this. Um, I think they sort of read what I wanted right, the computer, but ultimately I'm probably only going to get one item from this uh preview and there's 10 so that's not great this first one is the Recon knit crop jumpsuit i actually own this one already and i love it i think i look really cute in it but i don't need another one and if i was going to get another one it wouldn't be in this colorway so that is for sure an x and i'm going to say own similar and this one here again i own something just like this by fortune and ivy it's called the talia scallop detail knit dress it's actually a super cute dress that i love but again, I don't really need another one of these, so I'm going to push X and put own similar. Now this one by 41 Hawthorne, the Beatrice Maxi dress, I actually am intrigued by it. And it looks good on the model, but my concern is I just don't know that I'd wear it that often, to be completely honest with you. I mean, the print is so pretty. It's very Bowden, but I think I have enough prints like this and I don't know that it's my favorite. I think I'd have preferred something like this in a shorter length and in a different print. But otherwise they did well. So I'm going to go ahead and put X but I'm going to say I guess I'll say don't need because I don't really want another maxi. I want to have something smaller than or like knee length in this sort of style and maybe a different colorway. This is kind of pretty. It's the Vero Moda Sedella Textured Crew Neck Pullover. And if it's like cotton, no, it's not cotton. It's nylon, polyester, and spandex. Okay, well. Um, I do like the texture on it. I like the color. But I don't know that I like it enough, especially if it's not cotton. And I'm looking for something for spring. So I'm going to push X. And I'm going to put don't need. This is cute. If it looks good on the model, this Market and Spruce Liliana sur surplus dress, I might get it, but it doesn't have a model shot and it's rayon. Ugh. I don't know. I mean, I could see where something like this would actually work on someone who's rather hippie like myself because it has the straight up and down on the, the uh, skirt and then it has the crisscrossing in the front to show off my smaller upper body, um, which makes it a little bit wider appearing. The it doesn't even have how long it is. I can't chance it that it's going to be too short, so I'm going to go ahead and say no to this. And I'm going to say don't need. I don't dislike it. Um, okay, so the Nine Britain Jade Knit Back Detail Dress, super cute. But again, oh, okay, so you know what? It's not that short on her. I don't know that it. I don't think I'd wear it enough. I mean, it's really cute. Look at how that's adorable. But I feel like on her, and she's got like, she's tall like I am, and she's fair skinned like I am. I think that this would look super cute in like a different color. Like maybe not this pinkish, reddish color, or it's actually a purple color. I feel like if it had been in um, I don't know, a deep blue, that would have looked better with her skin tone. Actually, if it was a different color. I would probably go ahead and get this, so I'm going to go ahead and say X. I, I'm gonna, I guess I'll just say don't need. I mean, I, I hate to do that because I actually really like that, but I would rather a different color, right? This is the Love Ellie Mariana Pointel Detail Cardigan, and I think this is really pretty, and I love Pointel. Well, how pretty is that? I love it. The color is, I have to, I'll have to try it to see if it's a good color for me. The model, <laughs> the model, I just don't know why they use this shot particularly. She looks adorable, but I don't know that's the best shot necessarily. Very cute. I wonder what it's made out of. Oh, cotton and poly. Okay, so I will go ahead and put this one down as a yes, because I think it's cute. I think I could use it for other things. So let's go ahead and push yes. 
All right, this is the Market and Spruce Anita Knit Skirt, and I do need skirts that fit and are fun for summer. But holy oh, yeah, cow, that's really short on her. And it's just, I don't want anything that tight around my hips. I'm sure it's super comfortable because it's made out of a poly, rayon, and spandex combo. But the length is way too short for me. So I'm going to go ahead and say no to that as well. And I think I'll put on similar. This is a fun to fun suit tulip sleeve top it's really cute on her I don't know I have enough blouses like this that's a no and Mason and Bell Warren ruffle rip wrap Warren ruffle wrap skirt oh yeah no I mean uh, I mean, I like the I like the flowers. Those are really pretty. A, I love floral prints, but this is a really funky style for my for my taste. And I bet it's rayon. Yeah, it's rayon. There's no way I'm doing that. Okay, so X and dislike it. <laughs> um, but I do really I do really like this um, Love Alley. So I'm excited that at least that's coming. And I guess I'll put it out there that I'm looking for something maybe a little bit more youthful, not youthful, that's the wrong word, because a lot of those pieces are youthful. Maybe something a little bit more modern looking than the pieces that they sent me. All right. Well, I'm push continue, and I'm sure they're going to want me to write something along with this, so I'll go ahead and do that a little bit later and show you what I wrote. Okay, we'll see what I get. Hi, welcome back. Um, as you see, I only had one piece in that preview that I liked, and it's right here in the box. I, I just went ahead and unboxed it because I wanted to take some stills for myself with the small little bundle that I got this month. Um, I asked for everything to be under $60 for a reason because I didn't want to have to spend a lot on this fix because I knew it would be two in one month. So I'm cool with whatever they sent me as long as, and I think I put this in the note after I denied everything except for that one cardigan. Please make them more modern and interesting and youthful as opposed to, I mean, some of the pieces are like from years ago and they're still recirculating them. And actually I think one of the pieces in here may be a recirculation because I'm pretty sure I've seen this before in one of my fixes. <sighs> Let's hope not. I would really like to get something um, just uh, I haven't seen before, like this sweater that I got in my last fix, which I'll put a card up for right here. Uh, that has this beautiful marine layer sweater. It's gorgeous. It's different. It's unique. Um, not everybody has this. So let's see what's in this fix. Um, so I'll go ahead and open it up. Um, excuse my um, voice. I have a. It's either a cold or really bad allergies. Um, the blossoms all bloomed last week here in Washington D.C. area, and it, they just it was overwhelming. So I've been really kind of under the weather, and I've had a really insane schedule with my daughter's play. So um, just excuse the voice um, but I do have good news I am now going to be teaching high school next year I signed the contract yesterday so yay um, it'll be in the history department which is what I teach currently but all day long history and it's at a higher level and that allows me to go into a deeper understanding of the past with the children so we'll see what I end up doing right now I definitely have a job and uh, just like my old school it's the school I went to for high school so I have now I've worked at two places when I was a student. So one of my friends wrote me and said, I'm a super alum, which I think is cute. And I feel like I need to have like a jumpsuit and like a cape and it says super alum on the back. I don't know. <laughs> but I, I was, I, I thought that was adorable that they told me to do that. Um, okay, anyway, so let's take a look. So this first piece, okay. These are a pair of Beyond Yoga, um, like, uh, like short um, legging. That's <laughs> the wrong way to put it. But they're um, bis bicycle shorts. They're bicycle shorts. And I actually really like these. I like bike shorts um, for walking and for just running around during the summer. Um, I prefer them to leggings because it gets super hot and humid here. So this isn't necessarily a bad choice. This is good. I'm glad they picked this. Beyond Yoga HW High Waisted Biker Short. Teal green. Good color too. All right. I like it. Okay. So it's off to a good start, but Beyond Yoga is expensive. So I don't know if they were able to do that under $60. We'll see. Okay. 
This is that Love Ellie um, cardigan. It's got that beautiful pointel knitting. Let's see that, isn't that pretty? Um, the color is not necessarily one that I would normally wear, but if it's uh, got a tank or something underneath that works with it, it might help offset the color. I don't know how it's gonna actually look on me, but it's really soft, very pretty, very pretty design. So I'm glad I, I chose this. I think this is really nice. Um, so it's the Love Ellie. Mariana Pointel Detail Cardigan. So, okay, so two so far. Of course, this one is one that I had already chosen. Um, this one, okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do. I do have to say, I like. I think it's Katie. I think it's Katie. She picked out a cropped yellow top with a zipper pull, so it like. It actually opens all the way, but I would never wear this as a cardigan. This is kind of neat. Okay. So it's by BB Dakota, Steve Madden. I mean, I have this color and I've worn this color. I actually wore it yesterday. Um, it was my dress. Uh, I wore it with a blue jacket. Um, we consecrated in the Catholic Church, um, Russia and Ukraine, to the mother, uh, Virgin Mother because it was the Annunciation Day. It was also Angus's birthday. He's born on March 25th. And um, this was the color yellow dress that I wore. So I know I like this color. And it, it is going to be cropped on me. It's going to go right to my waist. Um, it's a size medium. Let's see. I'm trying to see. Um, fairly stretched through the waist, but it will definitely be fitted on me. So I'm guessing I have a pair of balloon jeans from Madewell that I think could possibly look really cute with this. So I might give that a try and see how it looks. But let me just give you a look at the detail with the um, zipper pull. It actually has kind of, it's obviously a modern vibe, but it's also, it, it kind of evokes a late 60s, early 70s sort of feel with that zipper pull in the front. Now this is a piece I know I've seen on Stitch Fix millions of times, and I know it'll look cute on me. Not into this anymore. It's about 41 Hawthorne, Brayson pleated detail, sustainable bows, and tilbury. You know, I actually may own this already. And I mean, I don't know. We'll see how the prices look, but I think I actually own it. So I'm going to go through my pieces. This is a Beyond Yoga bralette. I bet to go with those teal green. So it's basically just some. It's just some fun pieces for like springtime. I don't think I would wear this ever except to work exercise. I wouldn't necessarily wear this with like an outfit, but it's super cute. Although if it kind of looks like if it kind of looks like the one that Emma sent to me from Free People, um, that actually looks super cute and it was cropped. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, let me take out the amount that these cost. It's in the box. It's a, it was a really tiny box this month. Like one of the smallest boxes I've ever had. So I'm sure all these pieces are under 60, which is good. I'm glad she did that. Um, let's see how it works out. So her thoughts were, and actually they look really cute the way they're styled. That BB Dakota Steve Madden down to zip cropped and rib knit top and medium. That looks. They look cute the way that they were styled here. So it says, Katie says, um, I'm thrilled to style your 47th fist. We've been building an impressive wardrobe together. <laughs> Thank you for taking the time to preview this fix and leave me some feedback. I was able to grab you some fun and bright pieces for the season. I know that you love the black crop top I sent you back in the race, so that was that one. And I, th I figured that that's why she sent me the darker green, um, blue crop top from Beyond Yoga. Color would also look great with the Beyond Yoga biker shirts. I don't know if I have enough body confidence to go out in a pair of biker shorts and a cropped Beyond Yoga <laughs> bra top. I don't I just just don't know about that. Um, or yoga top, whatever the yoga tank. It's a yoga tank. It's a cropped yoga tank. The color will also look great paired with the Beyond Yoga. Okay, so I also included the BB Dakota by Steve Madden top for you to try. I know this is something you don't normally go for, but try it on with some shorts and the sandals from the last time to fix before you say no. You know what, actually, that would look good. With those balloon pants and that top, I, you know, I actually really like it. As long as it fits me, or if I can size up into it, I could potentially see myself really liking that yellow top. Um, thanks in advance for your feedback. 
She likes that this is a collaborative process. You know, what's better than you know, having a computer make all the decisions for you? So, all right, let's see. As usual, let me move this out of the way so I can make room for the picture right here. I will say the piece's name, I'll tell you the price, and I'll put it here, and then we'll get on to the try-ons. Okay, Beyond Yoga, Harlow Space Dry Crop Performance top is $66 here. So that was that darker teal green one. So I went $6 minus $60, but there were others that were under $60, so it evens out. Um, size medium, teal green, 41 Hawthorne, Brayson Pleat Detail Split neck Blouse, $60 size medium. Beyond Yoga Trinity High Waist Performance Biker Short, teal green, size large, 58. BB Dakota by Steve Madden, down to zip, clothes, rib knit, crop top. Canary yellow, size medium, 59. Love LA Mariana, point tail detail cardigan, light blue, size medium, $48. $291, by all discount is $72.75 for 25, 25% off, which brings it down to $218.25. Well, we will see. Um, right now, I know that it's like a little hodgepodge, so I'm probably gonna have to do a, a few piece like try on to make all this work. Like, I don't know that I would even put any of these pieces together, so it will I'll probably be have to try on five separate outfits. So it could be a little bit longer of a try on. So I'm gonna end it now to make up for the amount of time I'm gonna have to used to try to do all the try on so I'll talk to you in a moment. Okay, so before I actually talk about this outfit as a whole, I do want to actually mention one thing to you. Turns out that I guess they were doing some sort of freestyle. I completely forgot about it. There's like a freestyle promotion where if you spend a certain amount of money, you get $40 off of another purchase. And I realize now I have a $40 credit on my account. So in addition to receiving the discount for this particular um, what's it called, um, fix, I would also receive an additional $40 off. So in, in total, the amount of money I'd be spending on this fix is around, I think, 170 it's around $172. So for five pieces, that works out to just around $30 per piece. So once I get through the reviews and my discussions with them, I will know whether or not I'm going to be keeping all five. It may be that I just keep two and just use the credit towards the two. Um, right now, I'm loving this top. This top is super cute. I'll show it to you as a whole outfit in just a minute. But it is, I love it. I, mean, I dig it. I like love the length. I think it's fine with my frame. I really love the way this particular, um, I kind of, I really like these sort of necklines on me because I think it really opens me up through here and makes me appear wider. But it also, it just shows off I think one of the more be the better parts of my body, which is my upper chest and my shoulder area. So I've always been a fan of these, and actually as a high school student, I wore these all the time. So it is a 90s-esque thing for me, and I really, really like it. Um, I am thinking I wanna size up just one size. I think it fits great in the medium, I really do. I don't think I need to size up because it doesn't fit. I think I wanna size up just so it's a little less I guess so it has just a little bit more room down here, so it kind of falls away a little bit better here. Um, and I also, interestingly enough, even though I don't really have any big chest, um, I have to kind of pull it up to get it so that the zip stays. And I think with the length, with the large, just a little bit longer, and a little bit more give through here, um, it will fit me better. So, and I think it'll just overall be a better better look. Um, and if need be, I could also just alter those shoulders a little bit so that it, it fits um, more narrow where I need it to fit more narrow. So here is the outfit from Norway. I, it's like a very 90s ask out. It was definitely something I would have worn in high school. So um, here are the pants. They've got the high waist, um, the balloon leg, the hits right at my ankle. These are made well, by the way. And my shoes are Zara. So together it makes a very um, Dina in like 1993, if she had gained 30 pounds or so, I was pretty thin in high school. So I feel like this is this is me as a bigger version of myself back in high school. So here it is from the front and from the side. 
And then from the back, just go like that. See how I can see how this, I think it's, it's hard to tell how it's going to look. I don't really care ultimately. Yeah, so that's it for this piece. Um, I've got a few more pieces to show, and I will show them with these pants, which are super comfortable. All right, I will talk to you in just a moment. All right, guys, I have the next shirt, the infamous shirt that, guess what? I actually do own it. I knew I had owned it. I just couldn't remember if it was like a sleeve version or something. No, it's the same stinking shirt. I'm just going through my phone. I'm going to show you. I had it pulled up, but it went away. Oh my gosh, y'all. I can't believe they sent me the same shirt. What in the world are they thinking? <sighs> so, I'm in a conundrum. If I end up liking four of the pieces with a discount and with the $40 kept item, I, I mean, basically, it would be stupid not to keep it if I like four of the items. So I guess I'd just be giving it to my stepmom and being like, hey, stepmom, you enjoy this because guess what? I own this. And they sent me two of them, and I think you'll look really cute. She does look really cute in these outfits. I mean, she would love this. So more than likely, it'd be a good choice for her. It's slowly coming up. But, like, seriously, what what part? I just, I'm, I'm befuddled as to how this is even possible. So, here, kept items. Look at this. Look right here. Remove from your items. Well, no. I, how, about I, how about if I have two of them, and then I can have them both be like, remove from items. And it would be like, well, if I remove one, I still have one left over. I mean, my gosh, really, seriously. Feedback saved at checkout. You left feedback on this item during your checkout. Well, use that feedback to help elevate your style recommendations or, or just repeat them. You know, I mean, just thought. I mean, I'm definitely going to give them a little bit of crap over this. I'm going to be like, guys, really? This was purchased in, um, Oh gosh, the spring of 2020. So it was a it was a, a, a fix that was perfect for COVID because it allowed me to have this beautiful top, and I didn't necessarily have to wear any like special things underneath. I could just wear like green jeans or sweatpants or whatever. I typically would just wear like um, leggings or something. But seriously, anyhow, just thought y'all might find that amusing. If I do keep um, the five pieces, it's simply going to be going to a home. Um, but not mine. I, I, this does not need to stay in my wardrobe. This can go to another person because I already own one. All right. Anyhow, so obviously it's just what it is. Heck, you know what? I probably did a review of it. And if I did a review of it, I'm going to go ahead and put a card right here so you can see me reviewing it back in spring of 2020. All right. So here you go. Too bad, easy, breezy, cute. Looks great tucked in. I know this because I remember wearing it back when and I liked it back then I still like it now but I don't need two of them alrighty that's all I'll be back with my next piece okay we're back with the third top yes third top this is the one I said that I wanted from the initial um like preview it is I just like this so much I don't know it's so cute and I like it better as like a sweater than as like an open cardigan I mean I know I could wear it as an open cardigan but I'm I really just like it as is um I'm wearing just a little camisole underneath um and I think this would be perfectly appropriate to wear out it's just a not too low v-neck Will it cute with maybe just like a little shirt underneath it, but I'd still want to keep it closed because I love the crochet detail and I like how it continues perfectly across. So what I think I might do is actually just sew up with just a, a, a similar thread, maybe a stitching here and a stitching there, and then the same over here, a stitching here and a stitching here. That way it literally just becomes a sweater that happens to look like a cardigan. But this is just, it's just such a pretty little design. The color is beautiful. I, I think it's so beautiful. I, I mean, it's soft. And it's the cheapest item in the entire fix. So that's bonus points for it. I don't know if it's my favorite item yet. I really do like that yellow, that yellow top. I think that's super cute. But this one is just cozy. And I have a feeling my daughter's gonna probably try to steal it from me. Guarantee it, she'll want to wear this. Um, so here it is from the front the side and then from the back All right. and it's actually just enough warm that if you wanted to have it on one of those days where it's not quite warm enough to get away with like short sleeves the whole day you could have this just be a pullover and wear like a cute simple tee underneath 
This is, this is really cute. All right, they did well. All right, I'll be back with my next uh, pieces in just a moment. Okay, um, well, you can see my pasty white legs with the sun beaming through the window right now. So I'll have to come in a little bit closer to show you the details. And this is the pair of Beyond Yoga um, biker shorts. They are in a uh, sage green color. I absolutely cannot believe, like you look at it and you think there's absolutely no way this is gonna fit me. And then it like pulls on like magic and it stays in place. I mean, I know that the reason Beyond Yoga is kind of expensive is because of the name, but I cannot believe these fit me as well as they do. And I don't look like, I don't even look that pear shaped in them, which is kind of a miracle considering they're not like black biker shorts. They're like a light green blue color. I've paired it with an Adidas uh, cropped top. Of course, cropped on me just means that it hits right at my high hip. For everybody else, it's a crop top. It has a beautiful Adidas logo on it. I actually did buy this at um, Stitch Fix, so I'll make sure to put it down in the um, description box so you can request it if you like it. This is a size medium, and the biker shorts are a size large. I like the combo of the two of them together. This is so comfortable. I can so totally see me wearing this on all my walks during the summer or like just chilling out, you know, in the backyard, just hanging out with people. I love it. It's so comfortable. Anyway, so here it is from the front. Does not have pockets, by the way. I know that's something that a lot of people care about. And um, normally I do too, but um, I actually don't really care because I don't, biker shorts are kind of hard for me to fit because often the length is not long enough and I need ones that are longer and this is a nice long length on me. All right, so here it is from the side. And then from the back. And I don't even see any panty lines. This is just like miracle fabric, apparently. I do know that there are a lot of people who are devoted to this brand and really enjoy it. So I'll pull in a little bit closer so you can see. It's high-waisted, very high-waisted. And that might be part of the magic because for me, I need something that's going to have a nice long rise. And then from the back, just a little bit closer. And I come in closer and you can take a quicker look at the Adidas logo one. Nice and cozy and comfortable and then together I'll just pull back a little bit all right so there we go big fan happy about this so yay now to go try on the bra top so I have on the little crop um, bra top with a pair of um, leggings that I received from the Ellie subscription I have this uh, cardigan is a Stitch Fix cardigan that I received a while back. And I've been realizing I've been pairing this cardigan with a lot of different things. So the color choice plus the length have worked really well for me. The crop top plus these leggings, I think make a super, plus the cardigan make a super cute outfit. So I'll step back here so you can see a little bit closer. And I like it, the whole look package from toe to head. And that said, I like it better with the cardigan. So here it is from the front and from the side and then from the back. I think it's a super cute combo and I would wear this combo, but I don't necessarily like it together with the bra top or the crop top and um, these leggings. And I think it's because this seam here um, doesn't work well with um, this, the shape of this top um, because it, it doesn't, it doesn't like lay properly, but I think the top itself fits very nicely. So I'll go ahead and show it to you from the front without the cardigan. And then from the side. And then from the back. The top itself fits very nicely. It's cute. It's a great color. It's like one of my favorite colors. So I don't know if you can tell, I just don't like the way this seam lays here. I think if this was a flat fronted, pair of leggings. Um, I can't even hitch it up much higher because it's like way above my, it's literally way above my um, waistline at that point. I guess when I hitch it up and the seam disappears, it looks better. So it may be just me having to pull it up a little bit more. Um, it actually gives me a little bit of cleavage, which is shocking because I don't normally have cleavage. It is not a padded uh, crop top. It doesn't even have that much support. It has like a band here, but I prefer that. As someone as small as I am, up top, I don't need a ton of support. Um, I can go without a bra most days and the, the ladies just don't fall. It's just the way I'm built. Um, however, this portion needs a little bit more, you know what I mean, support. <laughs> 
Um, so I have down here what most people would want up here and not the reverse, although apparently there are some of you that would prefer to have this more of this. I don't know. I think we just want whatever we don't have. Um, so I love how it, though I will say though, for my frame, I am very happy with my shoulder line. I think my upper body looks very pretty from about here to about here. I think it's just, I've got a very nice line. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna call myself out and say, I like this portion of my body. I think I look really nice. Anyhow, so it's nice to have tops that really accentuate what I think is beautiful about my body. And then I get to like skim over the parts that I'm a little less comfortable with. So I'll come in a little bit closer. You can just take a look. It's a nice soft brushed fabric, very stretchy. Um, the back is super, I love the back detail. I think it's so cute. I can't, I can't, I'm not gonna turn around. You, you, you can see it. Anyhow, so it is a five for a five. I'm just gonna gift that <laughs> duplicate to my stepmother. I know, I know, you guys are probably gonna be like, well, don't even bother with that. Just tell them that they sent it to you already. I get it, I totally agree. But the hassle, I'm just, you know what? I'm not even bother. I'm just gonna be very, very strongly worded and say, please don't send me any more duplicates. Don't ask if I want the duplicates, don't even send them. Just please try to find me new things for my wardrobe. Um, because I know there's plenty out there. Like, I don't have anything like this. I don't have anything like that zip up yellow top, adorable. I don't have a cardigan in that color with the beautiful pointel car, um, knitting. I don't have a pair of bike shorts like that. They literally sent me four items that I like and I think are useful and I love. Um, and then they send me this one that's just like, eh. well, yeah, I liked it like two years ago. I actually wear it and I like it, eh, but do I really want it again? Um, so I'm just going to be like, my stepmother will love it. She'll love it. She will definitely wear it. I think that's it. I'm going to go ahead and end this video now. I hope you guys are having an awesome, awesome day or whatever you're doing. Thank you again for supporting my channel. I love how many people are coming and joining me. This is great. Um, and I'm really excited that I've been making more videos. So thank you guys for being part of the support system for that. And I will talk to you in April for the April 2022 Stitch Fix.